day again. Nice to see you, darling. So nice to see you, and I know. so nice to see so many snacks. Lots of snacks. We, you know, really, we're in our Twin Cities Live kitchen, and this is such a great place to be because we get some of the best chefs Absolutely. in the Twin Cities to stop by. And people always ask us, do you really like the food that you try on the show? And the answer is, yes. But I mean, really, <laughs> yes, because we have some of the best chefs yep. in the city that are coming by all the time to make some of their great things. But even a chef doesn't want to cook all the time. Sometimes they're tired of standing in front of the stove, so the question is, where do they go to eat when they go out? And here to tell us, we have quite the panel. The owner of the Golden Fig in St. Paul, Lori Kroll, is here with us. The co-owner of Cafe 421 in Minneapolis, Antigone Sander McLeod, and former Food Network star contestant and private chef, Justin da, 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 da. Davis. Hi, you guys. Hello. Nice to see you. Okay, I do have a question. Like, how many times are we talking that you go out to eat? Tig, you own a restaurant. So right. do you even like want to go to restaurants when you're not working? Oh, I love to go out to eat when yeah. I'm not working because it's kind of nice to just be taken care of by someone else. Yep. But I'm a super easy diner. Like, I'm not critical. <laughs> I like, I watch the dining room. I'm like, oh, they're really busy right now. Like, so I'm really cool when I go out. Okay, Lori, do you, you cook most of the nights? I do, and I'm really glad to, but probably one or two nights a month, we do totally sneak for a stop for pizza or pick up something that's an easy pop in the oven. And so, so. pizza is the place where um, you are going to take us you um, yes. you were assigned to choose a family friendly restaurant and you chose uh, how do you pronounce this DeLeo DeLeo Brothers DeLeo yes. Brothers Pizza in Woodbury okay so you're looking at this spot Lori tell us about what the place is like I just love it and of course it's partly selfish because they have all of these awesome video games that are literally a quarter a piece and they're like the old school ones. It's nice. Dig Dug, it's Pac-Man, it's Donkey Kong <laughs> and they have great beer on tap so while you're waiting for your pizza you can be playing video games, the kids are having fun. And the you're having a beer. Exactly. That is pretty good. Okay, so it's a, definitely a family friendly place. Yes. Tell us about the food. Hello, what are we looking at? You know, everything is delicious and this is actually the one that we generally always order and it's just Canadian bacon, pineapple, and green olives. And I think the only time we've deviated is Connor's hockey team seems to go pretty frequently to DeLeo's. They have this fun kids party thing where you get to go and all the kids get to make pizzas. And that's the only time he switches away from this. And oh he my does gosh, pepperoni. Delicious. So they get to go and, ha and, and learn how so to make it? It is so much fun. And I will say that the owner is quite the showman, showing them how to throw it up in the air. And the kids laugh and have a blast. And then they get to eat their pizzas. <laughs> I awesome. like that. OK, and then you also like these um, little garlic knot The business. little garlic knots are so delicious. And I'm going to pass oh. these down so everyone can try them. So it's like the yummy crust. And it's got garlic and butter. And you can't go wrong. <laughs> wow. Oh. That is yes. Serious. Business. They're delicious. This, try. this looks really good. Uh huh. Well, good thing we're all. Anything. Good thing we're yes, all eating this. Good we're all garlic breath smell. together. Mm. Garlic breath <laughs> and very mm. buttery mm -hmm. and very parmesan. Oh, so good. I just oh, think they're delicious. I mean, and they have sandwiches and they have calzones. Mm. They have a lot of different things, and everything I've had is um, really, really good. Delicious. Whoa. How do you like that, guys? Oh, yes, delicious. Having fun? Okay, that's really. And you, <laughs> you also have some calzones too that you were just looking at. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> <laughs> now none of us can speak. I normally yeah, guys. don't eat this much garlic <laughs> surrounded by this much beauty. Oh, <laughs> nice, Justin Davis. It's, beautiful. it's your lucky really day. Nice. Good so we do have to mention, too, that all throughout this segment, you're going to be seeing some deals on the bottom of your screen that might have already popped up, awesome. showing you what deals that these restaurants that our chefs have put picked have uh, graciously offered to you, the Twin Cities Live viewers. So if you mention Twin Cities Live before close on Sunday, you're going to get a free order of garlic knots. And you want that. With any pizza or calzone purchase there at Delay in um, Woodbury. Woodbury. Yeah, Woodbury. Love it. Okay, next up, Tig, Antigone, Sandra, McLeod, what are you going with? We are going with Ristorante Lucci that is on Cleveland and Randolph in St. Paul. And so you were assigned to do a date night spot, <laughs> yes. and it looks very like cozy and date nighty in there. It is. It really feels like you're sitting in your own dining room at home, and it's like nice and dim lights. It feels like a little city Italian restaurant. Only 12 so tables romantic. in the whole restaurant? If, yes, it's really tiny. You can definitely hear your neighbor's conversation <laughs> sitting next to you, but that's really part of its charm. It's a great little spot to go if you're trying to warm up in the winter and go into a cozy little place. It's perfect like that. I like that. Really fun. They're only open for dinner. That is So correct. it's definitely date night. And so you brought some of their um, delicious treats. What are you showing us? 
They are known for several things, but their pastas that they make are some of the best. They have handmade pastas, a carbonara that's made of just egg and butter and... Is uh, weakness? It's, yeah. it's, it's delicious. I mean, it is like carbonara to me could be the greatest plate of food really ever invented. Good. And it is just so perfect. It's not heavy and saucy. Like, that's not... They really try to perfect simple Southern Italian techniques of preparing their food. So you can see that in their handmade pastas. Here we have a balsamic braised short rib and all of their meats they really try to buy sustainable and organic foods they had a special on New Year's Eve with meat from Rosemont Minnesota oh, cool. so they're really committed to that and this is one of their house dishes the fusilli alla luci oh. that's very popular as right, well beautiful broccoli that yeah. looks really good and so they have another like a sister restaurant is that sort of the deal right across the street right or? across the street is called Luci Ancora and I believe that was built um, after they kind of grew out of their little space with the 12 tables and the demand in uh, St. Paul because we're very pro-neighborhood in St. Paul. Um, they moved across the street, opened in 97, and I believe there are 80 seats over there. And it's a different personality, but still a lovely restaurant really as well. Really cool. I it's love nice that. nice to have two options like that. Yeah. So Tig also brought some of the desserts. She brought this um, creme brulee and then this amazing chocolate something something lover deliciousness. <laughs> I don't know what you are, but holy mama, you look good. And, um, and here's the deal that Tig brought as well. Dine in at Ristorante Luci or Luci Ancora and mention Twin Cities Live between now and Sunday. You'll receive a free dessert with any entree purchase. Nice, nice yeah. deal, you guys. Thanks to these restaurants. How fun. Okay, and then Justin Davis. We wanted you to pick kind of like a foodie spot, maybe something that's a little bit under the radar of the foodie in Minneapolis. What do you got? Yeah, the restaurant I chose is called Bacho. It's out in Minnetonka. Okay. And this is one of my favorite places, actually. Do you go there? Oh, my I gosh. Love it. it's okay, my so we're looking at it. It's this a beautiful location. Cool. They have a sister restaurant. It's a privately owned restaurant. Their sister restaurant is Zalo. Mm -hmm. So if you like Zalo, if you know about Zalo, Bacho is a great, great, great place. Oh gosh, that it's reminds me, it's in beautiful there. inside there. Yeah. They have this really beautiful bar that huge stools. You feel very small when you sit down at the bar because the bar stools are they huge. Like oh, I love that. That's, That's very nice. Like yeah, I like that very much. <laughs> so my favorite thing to eat there, which is a lunch dish that I always go in for, the bacon jam chicken sandwich over there. Oh my! And I don't gosh. just order it because it says it's, but bacon jam. I mean, I'm gonna bacon turn it. jam. Bacon jam. Oh my! If gosh. I had a band, I would It'd name be it bacon, bacon jam. jam. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. That but looks amazing. It's, it's, it's so wonderful. And, and this is... And with a little bit of fruit and you don't feel bad about right. the bacon Absolutely. jam at all. Absolutely. <laughs> um, Yum. It's one of my, it's, this restaurant's right up my alley because they use as many, you know, local ingredients as they, they can get their hands on. They're very seasonal. They change their menu. And that's my kind of cooking right there. Really so, cool. Yeah, it's really good stuff. You this, brought a couple other things, too. Over here we've got... I the, just ate that the other night. Did you get <laughs> the cat really? cakes? Oh, oh, my gosh, cakes. I didn't know you love this place. I love it. Wow. Super beautiful so and tasty. Is it? Sorry to interrupt. Right by Richdale. Right by Richdale. It is, right okay. by Ridgedale. I know yep. where it is. located right off 394. <laughs> 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 Absolutely. Yes. That is good. So what are these? Do you Those think? are oh, the cakes. lump crab cakes with lemongrass. Oh, okay. It's so there. good. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And yes. this little saucy stuff, it's like just enough sauce, but not too much. Okay. I'm, I'm just going right. to watch her eat. Okay. <laughs> it looks excellent to me. I'm like, oh. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, good. Ooh, very, boy. very nice. The chef, Mike Zinzer, does a really good job. I mean, the seared scallops perfectly seared. Yeah, do look amazing. Yeah, parsnip, beet, arugula, it's awesome. Grapefruit uh, vinaigrette, I believe, is what you're looking at there. That's yeah. beautiful. Super, super great place. Right, right. And again, every time I say it to people, they're just like, where is this place? Well, I've yeah. never, I've like, never heard it. So where is it again? <laughs> <laughs> so get out there. Yeah, absolutely. Get out there and check it out. It's so fun. Great so, job, nice you guys. Place. I love this. That's really fun. You can stop by Baccio for brunch. Uh, this Saturday or Sunday, you'll get a free mimosa mm -hmm. or an order of beignets oh. with every entree. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's so like, know, we're all going to be there. Yes. Uh. <laughs> so, Justin, before we go, I wanted to ask you, too, you are going to be auctioned off. I I am. What's Another happening? auction. Yes, for the Junior League. Okay. Uh, they're auctioning me off. I'm doing a dinner uh, for 12. And the last time I did an auction event, it went really, really well. So hopefully people turn out and awesome. uh, support the cause. You didn't throw any pepper grinders or set anything on fire or anything like you sometimes do here? Not yet. Okay, good. So <laughs> the, uh, the event is called Duets. It's January 19th. Yes. And um, it's a food and spirit pairing, and we have all the details on our website at TwinCitiesLive.com. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank this was you fun. You can get all the information on all these restaurants on our website as well. And Antigone is sticking around because she's going to show us a new twist on a Greek-American 
classic, new to us, yes. not new to you. No. She's also going to fill us in on some culinary dreams she's going to try to fulfill, and Justin Davis may stick around as well to give her a little bit of advice. That's yes, all I'm going to say. Oh. Oh. Thank, you. Thank you. Or you can good. Good. stay just because we love you. It's true. I've been here a lot lately. So <laughs> <I'm not laughs> Me too. I'm always here. Okay. Coming up. Get